Yep. Okay. All right. All right. It is now uh, 12:59. We're arriving at rehearsal. It is the 25th of March. We have just under a month until rehearsal end. Then we go into the actual show. subject. William Mayer! We have our first subject. All right. First subject. We have William Mayer. Hey, how Who you doing? Who do you play in the show? Uh, rhinoceros. No, sorry. Scarecrow. Sad scarecrow. To me, please, just a reason out the reason of the witches and the wise and the wets. If I had an ounce of common sense. Oh, there we go. My name is Erica yes. Mounier. And oh. before you prepare for your role as Scarecrow? So, I like to get into like, the real, the real stuff. I already don't have a brain, but it's okay. So see, that's ready. It's ready for it. It's ready for it. Um, it's ready. But no, uh, I really like it. It's a good time. It's really fun here. The energy in this room is just great. It's a right. good time. I have a really important question for you. Yes. Um, it's a question that everyone has been wondering for the past couple of years. Okay. And can you explain to us what Man Minute is? Man minutes. We cannot. Um, that is a private session between. Private? Yes, yes, very private between the men. Um, I can tell you this. Last year uh, we got a bit of a uh, an L situation. Um, we almost got lost in the translation of it all, and Mr. Sutton he kind of busted us. But but it got better at the end. It got better at the end, and then then we then we, we eventually had our minute. We eventually had our minute. You always have the minute. You always have the every minute. show. Yep, every show. Every show. Every show. You can't find out what we're doing in that minute. You never know what we're doing. We could be, we could blame, playing the grounders. We could blame whatever you want. But the, the girls don't know, do they? No, they, they don't. Have no idea. The ladies, only do the not. guys. No. All right. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. It's been a Thank time. You. All right. Hi. This is Rome Maver on the scene. This is Wizard of Oz. It's time to vlog. How you doing? Okay. Uh, hi. We're with our own Emma Gauthier here. Uh, we're gonna be talking about the set design. You know, some roles, some really good stuff. So, Emma, what part do you play in the show? I play tree number four. Tree number four, wow, you really couldn't make it to tree number one? Okay, next person. <laughs> Alright, we're up to Emily. Yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. What role are you? Jitterbug, jitterbug. That's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. So no stink bugs, no no larvas, you're just you're jittering. Yeah, so you kinda got like you got something going on, you're gonna do it with these jittering all the time. Alright, next contestant. Let's go. Oh, singing poppy, singing poppy, cool. My mom is a singing poppy. Yeah, yeah, back in the 80s, yeah. She, she, she was a dancer, you know. The lady of the night. Um, okay, uh, let's go to our own guys. Look at these two horny men. What is up? What are you doing? You didn't, this isn't what it looks like. <laughs> what are your names? Uh, I'm Josh. Josh Moore and... Gregor Dawson. Gregor Dawson, nice to meet you guys. So on a scale of one to 10, how do you think the show is going? Uh, I don't know, probably a 2.5. 2.5? 2 .5. I mean, there's this kid in it, uh, it's, I don't know if you know him, he's the scarecrow. I don't actually uh, know his name. Yeah, yeah, I hear but, you. Yeah, he <laughs> kind of ruins the whole show, so like, really? It could have been like the whole but like it goes down to the Yeah, exactly. Now what about you? Yeah, I'm thinking like a strong three. Strong three? Cool, cool, yeah, but, uh, yeah, sadly, yeah. That's scary. Yeah. Like, like yeah. it could go up. Sorry, I'm a strong four, uh, but I can't tell you that, because... <laughs> you get that? You get that? Anybody? Okay, never mind. Moving on. <laughs> Look at this. We have the young, innocent reader. Uh, you What's your name, Um, I'm a crow. You're a crow! I am a crow. So you eat garbage? Yes, I so do. So basically you're eating yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yep. I yep. only want to have to address this once. Now have a wonderful afternoon and refer to the toilet. Thank you, Dale. What just happened there? Did you record that? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of Dale's rants. There are many of those in rehearsal. That was one of the few that we yep. did. So tell me about Dallin. Uh, nope. Do you know where Dallin's marbles are? Uh, I believe someone found them. 
Really? They put them in a jar and they gave it to him. It's a present a couple years back. Does he still have them? He has them. That was last year. That was false. Was last year. Last year, yeah. He doesn't know his stuff. Yeah. Uh, Dallin has his marbles. He just doesn't use them. Balloon stuff. Yeah. It's very busy. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. Do you think this would make any difference whatsoever if I had this underneath? What? She wants more print than this. Oh, my. Even if you're up here. It has to be like a short one. Uh, I could be more poofier than this. Would you say your dress What's is large enough? Is it large enough? It's never large enough. Like she's like, get mm -hmm. like a tutu one. All huh? over too yeah. long. And now I have glitter in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, do you want to interview? Interview? Yeah. I hate you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite part about musical? About musical? About musical? Yeah. I would want to say jamming out with my favorite people and making so many freaking friends and getting this huge bond. I love Hey Aiden, what's your favorite part about musical? Uh, doing the lights. Gregor. <laughs> Do you know where you're going? <laughs> it's a good time. The lights? And also, just being around good friends, you know? Hi. Like that friend? Yeah, like that friend. And my boy Lucas, and Jack. My boyfriend Lucas. Yeah, my Jack. boyfriend. <laughs> How's your flexibility in that suit? I could probably do the split. Yeah? Tin boy. Ooh. Go downstairs. Jack, one rusty boy. Tin fella. Yeah. Okay. Yes. 
So the main problem, I can't go like above here with my arms. Okay. All right. Um, my legs, I can only bend to there. Yeah. yeah. Something is popping in here. Oh, I can talk again. Oh. Mm-hmm. Right. But uh, so you know, all in all, it's great. <laughs> Why? It's Jack. Hey. Yeah, how's it man. going? Uh, pretty good. It's, I'm it's the Tin man. man. Look at this. We just did mic test. Do you mean pre-show rituals? You do that um, Or like anything that you have like troubles with? Well, like anything like that? You know. There is a there's a part in in my my song. You know, if I only had a heart. Yeah. Because where I have to stretch to a G. That's I'm a very low baritone, right? So I, I have quite a low range. All right, that's the that's G. That's high up there. Uh, I act, I do go to. Uh, an A flat later in the song, but it, it's a better vowel sound. So this is the part uh, at the end of my song where I have to say the boy who shoots the arrow. So I like to kind of practice it a few times to make sure I have it. Yeah, of course. I be friends with the sparrows and the boy who shoot the arrows. Mm. I do it a few times. You do it a few times. Yeah. yeah just to make sure so I like that was yeah. one time. Yeah. And. And the boy who shoot the arrows! Uh, and the boy who shoots the arrows! Oh, I may be presuming that I could be kind of human. I be friend with the sparrows. And the boy who shoot the arrows! And I lock it with the zipper if I only. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we're on a journey. Uh, we have to go get a piece of wood uh, strapped to four legs, also known as a table. Uh, 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 yeah, Josh? Yeah. yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Now why are we doing this? Uh, it's, apparently there's food, or food? no, it's something, I don't know. We are uh, preparing for the, uh, the giant putt lock for tomorrow? Yeah. I would assume so. Oh my god. Oh, shh. Okay. So we're getting up to the specimen here. We have to take very quiet. Shh, shh. Okay, yeah. He's gonna get it from the back. It does get quite stout, so we do have to do this quickly. Okay, on the count of three. Two, one. Stand okay. still! Okay, okay, oh, we got it, we got it, we got it, okay. Just pet him. Just... Okay, it's all about soothing it. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Follow the yellow brick road! <laughs> Follow the yellow brick road! 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 Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road! 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 <laughs> hey, yeah, I got a good little snooze. 
Yeah. Did you draw something on my face? No. No. <laughs> I'll trust you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I say it looks good. What day is it, Jack? Hey, uh, it's opening night. We're all wearing our shirt. Lucas has his on. And the entire cast as well. If we go around, let me just quickly go around. We got one here. There's so yeah. many shirts. We got one here. Well, that's... Gregor's wearing one. So Turn around. Total yeah, one, one, two, three, four, five so far, just in yeah. this cl class here. We've got 15 minutes left of period two. Right. And essentially, Jack is going to show us what he does to prepare for the show. During yeah, so this class. is my vocal warm up. Um, I use a, a traditional Latin piece called Dominus Vobiscum. It has a lot of vibrato and a lot of long held notes, right? But I also want to set myself up for conditions, right? So I'll be running around and dancing and stuff. So what I like to do is just to kind of set up the, on the wall and start singing. Dominus, Dominus Vobiscum. Very good. Yeah, thank you. Very good. All right, what time is it? Uh, what time is it? It's uh, 4.15, 4.20. So we got about three and some hours till show time at 7.30. Yeah. 40 and minutes till call. 40 minutes till call, and what are we doing right now? We are laying the yellow brick road, finally. After asking Dallin about four three times- Three hours before the show? If Kath can help. He finally said, sure, Kath can and help. What's, done be, what's being done over there? Uh, Emerald City. City's being painted. Three hours before the show? Three hours before the show. Wow. We have a wonderful tech crew. <laughs> Don't we ever. That's um, in the vlogs. So yeah, like half the- So the, the entire cast is helping putting down the yellow brick road. A portion of the cast is working on the yellow brick road. I got my hair like this, not because I'm a douchebag, but because I need it to be back for my bald cap. Excuses. Uh, yeah. Here we go! Oh, hey there. Welcome to my crib. Your crib? Are you sharing it with anyone? Oh, yeah. The one and only Lucas Lloyd. You see, our crib is a modest 13 square foot yellow room. It has a piano over there, a mirror over there. It's quite nice. Uh, we're preparing ourselves for the Wizard of Oz show. Need to go, go get makeup on soon, don't we? Oh, shit! Sure. <laughs> yes, we do. I'm <laughs> just yanking your chain. Oh, if only the yellow brick road was like this yellow room. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> so, what time is it now, William? Right now, we are rocking a solid, crisp 5.34. 5.34, we got, what, two hours for the show? La, 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 yep. So do you have any uh, pre-show rituals? I sure do. Me and the one and only Brianna Blair have this dance we do before our first scene when we're out on stage before the uh, curtain opens. Yes. Um, other than that, I basically just uh, keep lighthearted, don't think about it too much, and go right. out there and try and kill it, you know? That's some good words of advice right there. Oh. I'd like to touch this man over here. <laughs> Now, William, do you happen to know what Man Minute is? And if you do, please tell the camera. Oh, I sure do. Yes. You see, Man Minute is a time where all of the men in the cast gather into a room, typically Mr. Sutton's. Now, what happens in that room is we sh I can't share too much. Yes. Because it's safe. Of course. Yeah. We speak politely in context of how well the show is about to go. We get all of our little giddies out before we go on stage, and then as soon as we leave that room, drop a pin silent, ready and focused. Well said. Yeah. Well said. 
<laughs> that concludes our episode of Here's My Crib. Thank you for coming. Thank you, William. All right, Jeff, where are we off to? We are off to Mr. Chatterton's room, a.k.a. the boys' changing room. Every guy in our cast is white. I have a chow on it. <laughs> here to help with uh, quick changes and, and props and, and and set pieces and stuff. Yes. We have like, I don't know, like a dozen trees or something. Huh. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, you can see all the names of previous cast members. Yeah. We don't actually know who we played. Yeah, I... Do you, do you remember who we played, Jack? Uh, he was, he was... What was his name? Yuck? Something... Yuck. No. Yeah. Gross? Maybe disgusting. <laughs> anyway, carry on. We're not gonna put that in the cut. Sure. So over here, this is where a really, really quick change happens at the end of the show. So it's uh, right after we say goodbye to Dorothy, we have to change back into her Kansas costume. The tricky part is wiping off all her makeup. So here's my spot. We've got Will and Lion and uh, I would assume that's Glenda, but she doesn't have the paper. Oh, no, she's over here. Okay. We were previously in the hallway over there, but it's very cramped, so we decided to move our base here, switch around the block in the middle. Nice little workaround. Hey, hey, Mr. Sun, <laughs> want to do an interview? Want to do a boy that went to school. Want to do an interview? An interview? Interview. Well, what do you do? <laughs> right now? It's 7 o'clock. All right, let's go to the green room. Maybe my mommy may move to Miami and maybe my mommy may not. Maybe my mommy may move to Miami and maybe my mommy may not. Maybe my mommy may move to Miami and maybe my mommy may not. Shannon C, Shannon C, Shannon C, Shannon C, Shannon C, Shannon C, Then in the kingdom come, that will be done on earth. It is nothing of us to dare daily bread and forgive us the trespasses. We forgive those trespasses against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil amen. Now, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus, holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners now and at the ever death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be world without end. Amen. Dear God, we pray for all of the people going on stage tonight and all of them who are taking their final bows on the KVHS stage. I love you all, and it's been so much fun being around you. His dedication to nailing the smallest of lines is something that I admired about him from the start. I'd be lying if I said that I hadn't heard anything but great things about this man's hard work and effort this year. Show the man I have chosen to receive the shirt and keep the tradition going is none other than Sean Simon. Closing nights for KVHF, for KVHS are a magical experience. For some of you, it's your first one. For many of you, you'll be taking your final bow on the KV stage tonight. The recipient of this year's shirt is someone who embodies the theater perfectly. Not only is she committed, enthusiastic on stage, but she is also kind and helpful behind the scenes, always doing her part to make the show run smoothly. Last year, many of you may recognize her as being one of Rusty's girls, and now she has taken on a role completely different than anything she's ever done. 
without further ado, uh, Sam wants to keep this in the family, I guess. Uh, Shannon, I am beyond proud of you. How much you've grown in the theater and we love the passion. Production is as busy as ever. You'll notice there's a couple white lines. Why is that? We're getting ready for Drama Fest 2018. So, yeah, a couple of restraints. We gotta cut the play down to one hour. If we go over by just a second, then we are not eligible for awards and we want awards. A lot of people are not coming to Drama Fest. We just had word that Mr. Will Russell, who played the guard, is not coming. La la la, yep. Tell me, how many years have you been in musical? Like 365 days, none. Right, so this is your first musical. Who do you play in the musical? A, a monkey. Originally, I was also a snowman and an Emerald City citizen. So, so what's the difference between originally and now? What's going on? Um, yeah, what's okay, going on? Okay, so we've, uh, the past week or so, we've been preparing for a uh, drama fest. Uh, as you can see, uh, there's less people in the cast now. Uh, some people aren't coming to drama fest. Uh, so we've shortened uh, the play by like an hour and some minutes. So now Gregor Dobson has stepped up to the plate. So what just happened? How many characters are you? I'm now again one. <laughs> a different one than I've ever seen. You. I am the guard now. What do you mean? Guard. So you were just elected to be the guard at Drama Fest. How many days into Drama Fest? Uh, we leave tomorrow morning. <laughs> In how many hours? Um, well, well we, we performed Saturday morning, and right now it is Wednesday afternoon. Something like, I don't know, 72 hours? I don't know. Our orchestra is down to Mr. Sutton and Jonathan on drums. And I believe uh, it, Gallant might be coming, Trevor Gallant might Except be he coming. just had a baby. So. Yeah, he did just have a baby. So <laughs> you might say we're a little underprepared, but you know what? It's okay. So we're going to be, <laughs> another thing, we're going to be performing in a black box, which is basically pretty much a perfect square. It might even be a perfect square. The white lines on the, the stage show the outline, right? So it's, it's a lot shorter than our stage. Speaking of underprepared, we need snacks for our That's right, I'm rooming with this boy and we need to get snacks later today. We are on our way to Fredericton. Uh, okay, so it's currently 9.34 on a Thursday, May 10th. Um, 
just road tripping with Lanny G at the Drama Fest. It's looking pretty good. Is that again? Uh, we got a nice, nice little car whip right here. Let me, let me give you a tour. Okay, as you can see, we have a double radio. You, your, your standard heating and everything. Um, you can mess with the people up there. We can turn on some fans. You know, it's pretty, it's pretty chill. It's pretty tight. Call, uh, we're about to be start rehearsing. There's some mutually assured destruction. Yeah, Shannon's a hippie. A hippie. <laughs> the Italian run through? Mm -hmm. What's an Italian run through? Uh, Italian run through. It's very fast, very in the motions, you know. It's all about speed. We are gonna do an Italian run through. Let's go! Is <laughs> really going to the prom? John? <coughs> yes, she is. Uh, so, do you think you can help me ask out Jennifer Caldecott? <sighs> Oh, we do yeah. What? Oh, so, uh... So, I believe Lauren got a call first. And then about, you know, a couple seconds after, I think Lucas got a call. Molly got a call, too. Molly got a call. And Will got a call. Yes. Oh, wait. Oh, I got a text. Is he? I got a text. Oh, you got a text. And I got a call. All about what? Um, Mr. Ethan Arsenault, the head monkey. How do you walk as a monkey? Mm. Want to give us a demonstration? We would, we would love a demonstration about how you walk as a monkey. This is pretty much the basic, like, the sort of the idle position. What do you mean you're exhausted? All right, all right. Yes. He forgot his bin. At his house. At his house. Inside. He almost and went bananas over it. <laughs> Good way to start the day. But well, we got Tim, so it's okay. <laughs> hey, and I got a peanut butter tuna, donut with do not name on it. <laughs> we out here, we've arrived, we roll it up, but let's uh, look at the guy. We are stew. Walk in, shall we? To our new stomping ground. Where is it? Yeah, it is. Is it this house? I think it's this one. It's not that one. Look, someone like they're in there. That is a large speaker. She's mad. What are you gonna play? Some, some good stuff. You ready? She's she's nice. Oh, that was a mistake. So it is 11.48, we are starting our first rehearsal of The Wizard of Oz. How's everyone feeling? Yeah! Here we have a Rachel McCoy up and ready to call her first show. Oh my god, it's a Lucas too! Is she excited? I'm excited, but I'm like freaking out too. That's fine! It is 8.10 in the morning. How is everyone doing today? Is this is this going to teachers or anything? No. I'm sick! Okay. <laughs> okay. What's up, How are you, are you enjoying your time? Oh, I'm going to do a quick Tim's run today, you know. Weather's oh. nice. It's going to be a good day. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we just did the final rehearsal for the internet is distracto look a kitten. How are we all feeling? Oh my babies! <laughs> hey, what's up, Maddie? Hi! What are we doing right now? Uh, we're gonna go do a play. 
play? What play are we playing? Uh, the internet is just. Oh look, there's a kid. Where are we doing that? Uh, we're doing that meme hall. Meme hall. Meme hall. Meme hall. Easily confused with meme hall. Confused, man. Uh, it's about this bitch who's named uh, McCracken. I mean Micah. <laughs> and uh, she's trying to write this essay on the great Gatsby. I mean Gatsby. Um, but the internet just keeps being like, hey, hey, no, you're, you're not writing that. And then she gets distracted. Action packed. It's good. Are you yeah. prepared enough for it? I hope so. I can't, I can't remember any of my lines, actually. I'm very yeah. tough. He's really bad. We are loading in Lucas Patrick hey. Lloyd, hey. the director. So, any final comments? Oh God! Don't kill yourself, guys. That's some good advice. Anything you'd like to say? It is my queen. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna die. Okay, I look forward to it. Okay. So we are in Mem Hall. You can't see Rachel, but she's right here, and she is ready to do her first show. Oh, there goes the sound. This is The Internet is Distracted, Oh Look a Kitten, directed by the one and only Lucas Patrick Lloyd. Y'all are amazing! You're famous! A vlog inside a vlog? Oh my god! How are we all feeling? Neato. Wow. How long until the show starts? Oh, uh, 29 minutes. I have a vlog within a vlog? Oh, no, I'm coming. I'm not a vlog. Well, what have we just done? Uh, we so we did the show destruction. Um, it was pretty destructive. Yeah, why are you not vlogging? I am vlogging. Hello. <laughs> Hi. How you doing? How, how was it? How do you think it went? Oh, you fucked up my shoe. How do you think it went? Oh, no. I think it went good. I need to fix my shoe. Whoa, who are you? <laughs> Show? Yes. How was it? It was beautiful. Oh. Lucas Lloyd and oh. I want him. All right. So it is 10 after 11. I should be in bed, but I'm instead I'm looking for drag queens. Do we have any drag queens out here? Oh, hey, Brett, what's going on? I'm currently writing the things, like, the comments. Brett, what's going on? It's a great day. Nice and small. Obviously, I'm having a great, awesome. great day, Lucas. What are you preparing for, Brett? Drag race! So here we have the organizer of the drag race itself. Katie, would you like to take me on a tour through this wonderful show? Yes, welcome to my crib. The games room. Oh, my favorite. Love it. Here to your um, right, we have Team Petrellin. Oh. The trail in herself. Very nice. The dresser, the makeup artist. We have Teen Acid Breddy and his makeup artist. It is Liam. He got tits. You just can't tell when he's sitting down. I love it. Just real quick, I need everyone to turn and give me a quick walk. I'll explain what's happening. Right now, we have a lot of breast implants happening in the building. I do not want to be a girl. We are starting our rehearsal of The Wizard of Oz. Doing the show. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, guys. Can you put me in your rugs? Hi, Sam. Hi, Ethan. Callie. Hi, Sam. How are you doing? Uh, panic. Here we are. Lots of people. Hello. Are you all excited? Yeah. Ooh, the man himself, Lucas Lloyd. Oh, ooh, looking a little shiny. <laughs> Oh, hi! Oh, you're looking fabulous as always. Oh, so graceful. Are you excited? I'm very excited. I'm tired. <laughs> All right, here we are. All right, Shannon, how was your last show? No musical anymore. I know. We're all here, ready for the award ceremony. What's up? Sound. Did I even make a sound? Did I even make a sound? It's like I never made a sound. No, I ever make a sound. Oh,
arrived at the school. It's pretty much officially the end of musical and it's really sad. I'm sad. <laughs> That's sunset. Time to unpack. Well, neighbor. Lucas is being so helpful. I know. Head in the game. Maddie, why you? How many awards did you get a drama fest? I won three awards. I won Outstanding Actor in the Wizard of Oz. Didn't you? Yeah, surprisingly enough. Well, I forget what it was. Award? I forget. Outstanding. Outstanding? Yes. Award. Surprisingly. Rand O'Connor. You went to Drama Fest, didn't you? Yeah. You went, you got some awards? Yeah. What awards? Outstanding supporting actor for Jenny in the internet thing. And then I got a scholarship to St. Thomas. It's gonna pay for first semester's books, and I'm peeing. Oh, that's great. Quite the operation. Yeah. And we have so many people that a lot of them are useless, but like, it's not their fault. So, we just got back from Drama Fest. Yes, we did. Uh, and we're now unloading the giant U-Haul truck. And set is destroyed. A lot of it. A lot some of it. Some of it is okay. Uh, some of it's okay. It's a giant lineup. It's actually pretty... <laughs> There's still a lot of spirit. People start chanting for the people that are unloaded. Good at acting. So well, what's the award called? The award! Let me think of the name. Yeah? So... The musical spirit is far from dead. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, so did you go to Drama Fest? I did go to Drama Fest, actually. Yeah, I heard you directed this play, which uh, actually did quite a well. Did it? Um, 13 awards, was it? 13? Holy shit! More, more than The Wizard of Oz? Oh! Rochelle Anakin, I'm calling you out! No. I love all of you except for Lucas Moy. Love that! How? nice you all were and how easy to work with and lovely to work with and wonderful and it's true and even today this fullerton was saying like as we walked in here do you think it's because the cast is so small that's why everyone like you just say let's do this and everybody goes and does it and it's just you're so agreeable and nice to work with i really enjoyed the whole experience i hope you guys did too you were wonderful i mean you're so supportive of each other which is the thing that makes me the most proud really been great. So, go have a nice, relaxing evening. I want signing our names from the theater. Jack. Should I write anything? I'm just gonna yeah. put the year, I think. What time is it? Yeah, I'd put your character name. You think? Yeah, do it. Okay. I mean, Nathaniel did it. Yeah. I don't want to be Nathaniel, right? Like, you can never be Nathaniel. <laughs> Write, write all your characters just under your, the name, really small.
could put um, monkey number two. I could put oh, what would what would we call ourselves in Greece? Uh, Rydell High Patterson's Student number fifty-three. Uh, I think just like the purpose that it gives you. What would be that? Because like, no matter where you are in your life, you always have like the reason to get up that day and say like, I need to go to rehearsal. And that you're part of like a whole. That was drama fest. What's your favorite part of musical? Everything. <laughs> I love musical. Cause like, do you remember how it was in ninth grade? You had cool hair. <laughs> and then like, I'm just a completely different person than what I was. Like completely different, like, I look completely different. I have a completely different temperament and attitude and like outlook. And I think if I had to change anything about high school, even though I love being in Quebec, I would have loved to be a part of Tarzan. And such an amazing show to be a part of. Oh, it's gonna make a good segue into the Tarzan segment. <laughs> oh, oh my Greece! Oh yeah. was intense. It was the oh, first awesome. musical. I remember I was sitting in line behind Maddie to do the oh, dance auditions, so and I thought about not doing it because I heard her singing, mm. and I was just so terrified. I was like, I can't make it into musical if people like that are going to be doing stuff, and I can't believe I just got to do stuff with them because. Of course, the lead. Dance or audition. Sweet. I was terrified. I never thought. <laughs> I hated performing in front of people. I couldn't even talk in front of people before I was a musical. The dance auditions were like funny because <laughs> in ninth grade, I did everything I could to stay in the back as long as I could. And then 10th ten, <laughs> yeah. grade, there was like a switch and I was just up in front and Sydney was like, way oh, to dark. go, Rain. And then like <laughs> grade 11, I was like up front in grade 12, I'm like, guys, this is like, it's front and center, like, come on. I agree. But like, Greece, okay, the, the one thing I want to remember about Greece over Ooh. all else was the time that we were all just hanging in the green room for a second and like Miss Lanigan was talking, and then Juan Pablo walks in and he's so embarrassed because he's in <laughs> his, his like basketball uniform thing for, for the show, and the shorts were like all the way up here. He was, he was like, Somebody stole my pants and he was like walking and everyone's like, oh my god So somebody like gave him a sweater to like tie around his waist and he was stuck in that outfit For hours and it was so funny because we were having like a serious conversation about the show in the green room when he walks and he's like somebody stole my clothes <laughs> You got a lot of good moments in the musical don't you? Yeah What's your favorite part about musical? Ooh, you know my favorite part is just Everyone making fun of each other, having a good time. Like the boys? Yeah. The bo well, and the girls, you know? Everyone yeah. just makes fun of each other. Everyone has a good time. Everyone is always laughing. There's never a dull moment, you know? And, like, even when it's the most boring rehearsal ever, we find a way to make it fun. Like, we'll play frisbee in the hall or break something or just hide what we broke or whatever. We'll find something to do no matter where we are. It's really fun.